big one. Oh. That's, he's darker than the other ones. Yeah, they, they turn colors after a while. It's probably male. Pastor's still still on. Huh? Still his ass on the hook. Yeah. He ain't going nowhere. Pretty fish, right? This is definitely a male. He looks mm -hmm. video because there was music playing in the background and YouTube wouldn't allow me to upload it 
while music was playing in the background. Here I'm using bloodworms as bait. Porgies like bloodworms, sandworms, any type of worms, uh, squid, clam. But today, on this particular day, they were biting on bloodworms mostly. All the fishermen that were there were using bloodworms as bait. Going fishing in City Island, make sure that you bring extra rigs and extra weights because you're going to lose quite a bit. Uh, but it's quite a few porgies over there. If you sit in this corner that I'm at, you know, I shouldn't be broadcasting this, but if you sit at this corner, you could catch maybe up to 30 for the day if you want to. Uh, there was a new guy fishing this day, so my fish, my porgies that I caught, I gave them away because the day prior to this, we came, caught a few, I got enough in my fridge. So I was just fishing for fun and for the footage also. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Confused, but I can never do the work for you. I'm just a man. Right now, I'm using a four ounce weight with a size four hook. I'm using braided line just in case I get caught by a blue fish or one of those fish with teeth. There's a lot of those over here, you know.
Bob, is this you? That's you? No problem, Bob. You're welcome.
You put it somewhere else? You put it somewhere else? I, I, I took it out to show my kids. They were happy, right? Like, I, I watched it and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I took nah. it and I showed them. It's cool. Thank um, you very listen, much. You have, uh, you have knives and stuff? Yeah, I have this, but I don't have knives. OK, so look, they, they start tasting bad if you leave the stomach in. So clean it. Oh. This is for the scales. It's okay. easy. Okay. This is for the, the fins and stuff. Okay. And this is for the gut. So when you're ready, don't, don't make them sit. Put some water in here to keep it. Right. I'll go catch some for you. Thank you very but much. yeah, um, clean them up so that they, you know, stay a little fresh. Okay. That way, it, you know. Whatever I catch, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'm not trying to catch no porgies. Fish yeah, you got, I call it blackfish. Blackfish, oh. Um, fluke, flounder, um, striped bass, oh. black, um, bluefish. Oh. But they all eat this worm. Everything eats a worm. You're not they getting like the, the, the throw? You're not getting it yet? I'm not used to it, bro. Okay. I need to know this, bro. No. <laughs> okay. I'm well, doing it, but if I do, they get tangled. It doesn't go. Okay. You know why? Um, that's because all right, when are you going fishing again? Okay, so this is what you're gonna do next, right? Go to the bait shop, right? Yeah. Ask them for swivels, right? Shovels? Yeah, you know what shovels are. Shovels. Ask them for shovels with clips on it, right? You see at the tip of this line where it's tied to the 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 the, the, leg? the rig, yeah. Leg. You wanna put a swivel at the, the beginning of it because when you throw the line, it's twisting this. So oh. that's why it's tangling up for you. It's twisting, twisting. Okay. The swivel will prevent it from twisting the line. It was just spin, sure. you know? Okay, All right? right. Actually, I'll, I'll I have some, I have a little, the, the little ones, but they break with when I throw them. No, so. just, just show me and uh, I will show it to them if I go to Okay. The All right, cool. Yeah, Two poles right now. Mm -hmm. The small one, I have 30 pound. This looks like 30. Right? So it's basically the same thing, but it's braid. So the braid is harder to break. The fish line is, will break easy. So when it gets tangled, it's easier to take so it out. Yeah, because right? yeah. over here is a lot of rocks. Okay. I lose a lot of line over here. <laughs> so you got to, you know? So braid one and, and, uh, the and shovel. Yeah, the, right. the braid over here is expensive, but if you get it on, on the internet, it's, it's cheap. Like cheap. the amount that you get for $30 over here, you'll get four times that amount online. Okay. But it's convenient to get it over here. But yeah, it's, a, it's, it's nice, man. It's relaxing, I love, right? I love fishing. Okay. I sat home now. I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, I'll man. Keep me, you know, happy. Hey, when I, I was in Africa, when I was kid, I used to do fishing a lot. You Different know, types of fishing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to show you something. This looks like a... Go back! Go back! Why? Are you scared that they're going to fall in the water? They, they are too... Small? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. I'm gonna sh do one for you. And just try, keep trying it. Don't, 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 don't worry about not doing it good. I spent a week learning, <laughs> a whole week, every day. <laughs> See, just move again. That's why you had the, oh, oh. And this, this is what I was gonna show you. Right here is good.
Alright, perfect. You have a bell, no? And get a bell too. You hear those bells, bells? Oh. That way you don't have to bell. To make it ring. Oh, a bell? You, you hear those? Everybody has a bell on. Oh, really? So when the fish bites, instead of paying attention to your pole, you, you hear the hair bell, yeah. Oh, they, they send out the same stuff, right? Yeah, it's a dollar fifty for each bell. Bell, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, see. I told that guy I don't know nothing, so he need to show me everything I got to buy. Don't. When you start out as a fisherman, you pay for learning. Don't try to learn from the, the bait shop. No, they, no. They, yeah, the shop. Yeah, That's don't try I to do. learn from them because oh. they're just trying to sell. Sell, okay. You know, <laughs> it makes sense, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I learned. <laughs> they, they give me, first time I had, the first fishing pole I had, I had one of these, I had 20 pound line, right? Yeah. When I went to the first bait, bait shop, they said, this is no good, get, get 30. I got 30, plastic. So this is 30? Yeah, this is about 30, right? Yeah. So I got plastic, right? When I went to the other bait shop, they said, no, this is no good. You should get a smaller one, get 20. They want to sell me something else, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you have to do your own research and, and it comes down to your own um, personal preference, you know? Because some people prefer this line because it, it stretches. The other one, it doesn't stretch at all. It's wire. So once they pull you know on the other one but this one it, it it's good for some stuff and it's and it's cheaper yeah, yeah. this is way cheaper than the other one so you know it, it's back and forth you know right. i'm giving myself a week i know i'll get it you good thank you very much though. listen i, I, can't I, go to the I just started fishing in february that february. passed oh <laughs> <laughs> i went to puerto rico right before the pandemic and uh, 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 i like it might be getting a bite uh, maybe that's the wind and another thing too you want to keep tension on your line you want to kind of keep it straight yeah you see like like how it's kind of pulling there you want to always keep it that way don't make it slack because if the fish come in it, it's slack and they bite it sometimes you won't know and sometimes when the fish bite they come towards you so the line gets slack so you kind of have to keep checking it you know are you good man it, you'll get it and as i said i just started fishing i'm fishing over by the hudson and I'm getting a lot of good remarks. They're like, yo, you, you're doing good. You know, you're catching on good. So it's, it's not that bad. And plus we black, we get it. Yeah, yeah, you need to get a license to do over here, right? Yeah. <coughs> the license is $25 for the for the year. How would I get it? Just go on um, Google New York fishing license. And it's gonna show you the, the, the website. It's nyc.gov. And you go there, go down to the bottom, it says, do you want a, a, a seven day pass? It's like $5 mm -hmm. to fish for seven days. It doesn't make any I sense. Really yeah, because nobody really checks. No, no. You know, you only want it for once when they do check, you know? And the $25 is not bad. You could make that back in catching fish. So make the 25? Yeah. Uh, That's I, yearly, right? Yeah, for the year. Yeah. Um, it starts in April 15 till April 15. Oh, I need to have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and when you buy it online, they give you a, a, a picture. When you finish buying it online, you could download it to your phone. So you don't have to have it in your wallet. You can have it on your phone. Oh, so I could do everything on my phone yes. then, instead of doing it on the laptop? Yeah. Okay. All right, man, I'm gonna What's stand over. Name? I'm Dane. Yeah, I'm James. Nice to meet you. Uh, That's up, man. Where are you from, man? Ah, we the same people, man. I'm from Jamaica. I'm doing research about West Africa. Did you know West Africa was called ne Negro land? And before, um, uh, you know, Africa is not the original name of the land. The name is Ham, which means black, right? The entire land or Kemet, right? Kemet was given after Ham, right? But after that, they named it Africa, right? And changed the, the, the countries and stuff like Niger, Nigeria and those, like, you know, Ivory Coast. Yeah. You know Gold Coast? Gold Coast is Ghana. All right. Ghana used to be Gold Coast. All right. You know Slave Coast? No. Ah, ah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But that whole area was Negro land, right? Slave Negro. Coast is right beside Gold Coast. Oh, <laughs> Slave Coast is right beside Gold Coast. Uh -huh. They changed it to Benin now. Benin, Africa. That's Benin, Benin yeah. is, is, um, it's not far from Ghana. Exactly. That's what they, it, it, it used to be called Slave Coast. Every single slave that came here yeah. on the slave ships came from Slave Coast. They, they came through a, a big um, gate called a gate of no return. 
Every slave went through there. No, no, that, that, that's in Ghana. Ah. Cape Coast. Cape Coast. No. C A P E. Alright. You ever hear of Benin? I know Benin is a country. Benin has one. The the gate of no return. There's oh, one in Benin has one. Yeah. I never knew that there was one in Ghana. We said one in Ghana, Cape Coast is that's where they have the gate of no return. I know that that's where that's the town of it. It's Cape Coast, that is the final prey they, they shower them, right? From there then they, they ship to them. Yeah. So that is Cape Coast. But I know other African countries too they have their their main castle. They call it the castle. Yeah. I thought like, I, I, I've been doing, as I said, I'm doing research because of the Bible, right? The Bible is telling us that when, when Israel was conquered, the people of Israel went to West Africa and yeah. South Africa, yeah. right? That's us, right? Yeah. Um, and oh, the people of Israel, yes, Israel went, Africa. went to West Africa and South Africa when Israel was conquered by the white people that are living there now, right? right? Yeah. We, <laughs> like Niger is in the Bible. N-I-G-E-R, it means black, but not black, black, but black. You know what I mean? Like us, like it's like, it's like, a, it's like coffee. Right. You know what I mean? Um, Israel, like the, 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 each person in the Bible, their name describes them mm -hmm. or what their purpose is. Right. Um, Ham, Noah's um, youngest son, you know Noah? Remember Noah? I Before remember the, Noah. All right, Noah is the one for the flood, right? The, yeah. the guy that is, um, survived the flood, him and his family. Yeah. His youngest son was called Ham. He was given Africa. Africa was given to him, right? His name meant black. He was the darkest one. Right. Shem, which is the, 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 the one that Israel came from, they were in between black and light. Like they were, you know, coffee. Like that's the thing. Shem means in between. It's not, you know, yeah, not light skin, but yeah, that's the thing. It's like, and then um, Jafet, they say Jafet was a little bit lighter. But, um, but yeah, the, 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 it, it's fascinating because here they teach you in high school, you, you're just a slave. Right. You don't have any history before that, you know? They don't let you know right from the scratch. Exactly, and they, uh, it's just one of those weird things. I'm going to change my beat, I'll be back. I'm gonna have to do some more research.